Hi, I'm Evo Dan, and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to do the same thing as in tutorial three, but we're going to use helicopters for flight differences. So first of all, I'm going to place down a player here, and then I'm going to just a ghost hawk that there, and a small group of like some guys here. That could be our squad. Okay. So there's our group we want to load. There's the helicopter. Now we are going to start issuing the orders. So first things first, we're going to go here, select on the infantry squad, give it a waypoint to get in. We're going to leave it here for now. And then we're going to just uh, plus at the other end of the airfield here, a get out. And then a move to complete it. So once they've got it, the helicopter, they'll run around behind this hangar. Okay, so next thing is to do the helicopters. So the helicopter, we will have a load command, and then we will have a transport unload the other end. And then what we'll do is we'll send it back and we'll issue it get out command here. Okay. So for the next step, what we need to do, we need to synchronize these waypoints up so like this. Synchronize the two waypoints here between the infantry group and the helicopter, like we did in the last one. We're also going to create a trigger. So all we're going to do for this trigger is radio alpha. You can put whatever trigger condition you want in there, and it'll work fine. So then I'll go sync to set waypoint activation. There. And then I synced, and now I'm going to drag the get in marker over the helicopter, like so. So then this infantry squad knows they're going to get in this helicopter. Now at the other end, I'm going to synchronize these waypoints again, like so. And that is it. Now this seems like it's the same thing as before, but you'll notice something when we go in. So just take note. This is where I'm telling the helicopter to land. Then you can see the infantry squad are stood here waiting. Then I haven't got a helicopter. The helicopter is off. And I'll go zero, one. Which triggers radio alpha. They'll get in the helicopter. So, and the helicopter will spin up. Now we're going to teleport down to the other end of the airfield. Okay. I'm going to speed the, uh, the editor up a bit. It's a bit of a quicker journey. Now you'll notice I've put the marker over here, but the AI has gone to land on this helipad. This is the distinct difference between a land vehicle and a helicopter trying to do this. Now you'll see the infantry have got out. They're running off, like so, and they're running behind the hangar. And now the helicopter is going to return to the other end of the runway. I think the infantry's run off over there, like so. I'm going to just teleport myself back. Yep. Now the AI, instead of coming all the way back here, which is where we told it to. Has decided to go all the way back there and land. Now, here is something that probably isn't really mentioned much, but helicopters like having helipads. So the first thing they will do is they will try and land on the nearest helipad, which is why they've landed here and landed there because these two are registered helipads. So when you do this, if you can, the ideal thing to do, and I'll show you, I'll go back into the main editor, is to go to F1, Props, Helipad, and now you can place down a helipad out of here. And you can use one that's you know completely visible if you want, but if you're landing anywhere, so if you want them to land in the middle of a field, I'd recommend using the helipad invisible. So I'll place one down here. And what I'll do is I'll place one down here. 
and then the helicopter will ideally go for these two as the landing pads. So what I will do is I'll just save that first place scenario and we'll run through the same scenario again. So see the infantry all in the right place. I'll trigger radio alpha radio alpha. Go load in. We'll speed this up again. And we're gonna teleport down the airfield. And we're just gonna wait for them to fly down the airfield now. Now you notice that instead of landing right here on the helipad, it's landed on my invisible helipad, which is over there. As you can see. Now if I speed this back up, helicopter takes off, it'll head back up the runway, we'll teleport to meet it. See, now it is going to come into land and the crew gets out there. Nice and simple. So remember, if you want a helicopter to land somewhere specific, that location needs to use a helipad of some sort. Invisible if it's in the middle of a field. So like if I was trying to uh, put one, let's say in the middle of Camino firing range, I'd just place down an invisible helipad like that. And then the helicopter would know to land here. And it wouldn't try fly off and either try and find one if there's one within range or try and have a rough guess where to land because sometimes the armor ai can't really figure itself out anyway that's this for this tutorial i'll export this to multiplayer and put it onto the um onto the workshop for you all to have a look i'll put a link in the comments anyway thanks for watching